straight legs, wall counts first, okay? So bring your hands as close to your feet as you can. You can bend your knees a little bit here if you need to, especially if your hamstrings are tight. I'm gonna walk out into your press up position, squeeze your tummy in and walk it back. Okay, so we're gonna do these for two minutes. All right, so take your time, don't rush them. Small steps out with the hands, squeeze your stomach in, walk it back, stand it up. Okay, so each time you lean forwards and reach down, Try and straighten the legs a little bit more. Okay, just small steps. Small steps back. If you want to here, as you come into that presser position, you can just walk your hands a little bit further out to extend the arms forwards and it just starts to involve your stomach muscles more so. I'm just on halfway through here. So you just go a little bit further, maybe one or two steps forwards and walk it back. But keep that bit under control. Walk it right back in towards your feet. We've got 30 seconds left. That's it. So keep the steps small. The more steps you do, the more you're going to warm your shoulders up. 15 seconds here. Just going to finish this one off and then we're going to stand up. Okay, so once you're on your feet, you're going to lunge or you could step back, reach up tall, lean to the side and back up. Okay, so it's a backwards lunge or you could just step whichever leg is in front, lean over it. Okay, step lean, centre, up and then just make sure you're alternating legs and sides. Okay, so back, lean and up. So watch your balance with it. So we just mute that for me please. Okay, so one more each leg. Okay, now we're going to go wood chop, so hands right down by your ankle, up and across, okay? Pivot round with that foot, squeeze your stomach in, come into a squat position, and rotate. So Big rotation here. Think about working through the waist. Reach back. Okay, switch inside. Hands on the outside of the opposite leg. Up and across. So let's make sure you breathe with each one. Breathe out as you stand. Okay, right, on the spot, jog, circle the arms, all right? Big circle rounds, we're going forwards with the arms. Okay, then take the arms backwards. Okay, forwards, we're going to do one more of each. Let's 
really stretch it up. Okay, backwards. Okay, we're gonna have the arms out. I'll show you this first. We're gonna do little circles like that. Okay, so your arms are gonna stay in line with your shoulders, so try not to drop. Okay, from there, but you're gonna keep that job going, all right? So make sure you're moving your shoulders and you're not just kind of swiveling your wrist round, okay? All the way, squeeze it back. Okay, so keep your feet going. Now get as big of a circle as you can there. Okay, so all the way back, squeeze forward. So you want to squeeze your shoulders together as you go back. Rotate forwards, keep the arms lifted. You should feel that through the shoulders. Big movement, come on. All the way over, each way. One more each. Okay, we're going to jack, so you can step this for the lower impact. Just little foot taps. Okay, gonna go two each way. So two here, switch in the center, two the other side. One, two, one, two. Last time. Okay, stop in there. Hands up, fold forwards. Simple as you can get. Okay, from there, reach forwards, down, reach up, and stand. Okay, so don't just collapse down. All right, stretch up, reach, reach your feet or wherever, reach forwards, bring it up, okay? So from here, you wanna push your bum back and really stretch your arms out in front of you and then tap down. It's a big stretch through the center between each way. So on the way up, on the way down, just hold it for a second there. And get two more here. Okay, five walkouts with a press up in. Okay, so we're gonna go straight legs, walk it out. You can go knees or toes, but just one, and push yourself back up. Okay, five times in total, small steps with the hands. Keep it going, going for five. Okay, once you've done five, just relax, grab a drink. We're gonna move on to your weighted set, um, which is all upper body. And um, we're gonna start out with single arm rows today, or one arm rows, as you might know them. Um, I'll show you this before we start it. So we normally take quite a stride back. Today, you're gonna kind of have a squat stance. So your feet are hip width, but you're gonna hinge forward. So we're gonna be here, row back. Okay, so we're pulling that elbow back and down behind you. Okay, from there, it's going to be a single arm press on the same side before we switch side. Then you've got walkouts with a press up. Is this too many to remember? 
Then there's a squat and a push out in front. And then you've got an alternating row. So one, 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 one. Okay, that's the set. There's three rounds of it. We'll whittle them off. It's 45 seconds of the exercise uh, and a 15 second rest. Times three. Okay, so have your weight up ready. So we're gonna be squat position. Hips go back, tummy tight. All right, three, two, one, let's go. So squeeze it back. Okay, so you wanna really think about working your mid back, just below your shoulder blade. Focus there. Okay, so keep it controlled. And because you're leaning forwards, do make sure you keep a bit of tension in your stomach muscles, okay? So you want to squeeze in here just slightly to support your lower back. If you feel like it's straining your back, just stand up, take a second and come back into it. There's 10 seconds left. Last couple. Okay, rest there. So 15 seconds. You can switch to a lighter weight if you need to. This is the press now, okay? So we're going overhead, single arm press. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. So one arm, depending obviously on your weight, you could do it as a push press if you're if you find you start struggling with form, okay, but otherwise, power it up, big punch up, stomach's still tight, you want to make sure you're not kind of swaying the hips round, 15 seconds, get these last few out, so use your legs if you need to for the last couple, rather than straining that shoulder. Let's be your last one. Okay, so 15 second rest. We go into the one arm row on the other arm. Okay, so change hands. All right, feet hip width. Okay, hips back, three, two, one, let's go. So 45 seconds here, squeeze it back. Remember, keep a little bit of tension through your stomach muscles. Excellent, so 30 seconds left. Just have a little think about your posture, guys. You wanna have a flat back here, or at least neutral. Okay, don't round up. If you feel you're rounded, you need to pull the shoulder blades back and down. Got five seconds to get through. And then we're going into the press. Okay, so 15 seconds there. You can switch to a lighter weight, obviously for an overhead press, if you want to. Okay, otherwise in three, two, one, we get to so press it up, control it down. Keep those stomach muscles tight. We punch up and then control that downward movement. 30 seconds to go. And if you need to for the last couple of reps, you can do a little push press, which is just like a little dip with the knees, okay? If your weight is less than five, you probably won't need to do that because you're strong now, you see? Strong. Three seconds. Okay, stop. All right. Walkouts next. All right, so weight down. You can chuck a press up into this if you want to, if you can. Okay, so we're going three, two, one. Let's go. So you're going to walk out small steps, knees or toes, if you're doing it. Okay, and walk it back up, stand up. Okay, so stomach tight, 
walk it down. Remember with your push-ups, you want to think your chest coming down between your hands, not your head or your nose. So your head comes in front of where your hands are. Okay, take a rest there, let's do it. Okay, so we're going into a squat with a push out. Okay, so weight starts out in front of your chest. Squat down, stand up, comes out in the line with your chest. Okay, if your weight feels too heavy and you feel like you're sort of straining your back, you go out kind of halfway. All right, you don't want to go too far and then start moving your hips, all right? So, let's go. Squat down, up, press. Okay. So we wanna breathe out as you do that press. Keep it level to your chest. Squeeze that stomach in. So as you press, Keep your core muscles really engaged there. 15 seconds. Last couple. This will be your last one. Okay. So a little rest, 15 seconds. Last one of the set. We're gonna pull up, bring it down and change. So from here, up, down, change, okay? Let's go. Squeeze it back, change hands at the bottom. If you can't coordinate it, I'll tell you when we're halfway. You can do half on each. Halfway now. So keep pulling back and down with that shoulder. If you need to, just stand up, shake it out, come back into it. Last couple of seconds. Okay, rest, good. Grab a drink, so you've got one minute, two more rounds. So it's one arm row, one arm press, Walk out, will you remember these? Squat and a press, alternate and row. Okay, so change weight if you need to, or if you're going to, for the second set. Okay, we're gonna start back with the row in about 10 seconds. Okay, so, right arm first, all right, hips back, get yourself set up, make sure you've got your posture right, don't be here, okay, if you are, you need to stand up, squeeze back, and come back down, reset, okay, squeeze your bum here as well, it does help, all right, let's go, squeeze back, so it's all single arm now. Lead back with that elbow. So take your time with it. Now keep that posture. Stay leaning forwards. So you almost want to be parallel here. In fact, you could go parallel if you want to. Fifteen seconds. So keep it going, big pull from the middle of the back. Last one. Okay, relax. All right. So in 10 seconds, we've got the single arm press on the arm that you've just used, yeah? Okay, three, two, 
One, let's go. Ready, so. You can use a lighter weight for this one if you want to. If you've got the choice, you could do. So keep it going, come on. Think really punch it up, breathe out at the top, squeeze in those abs. Ten seconds. Five. Let's get one more. Okay, relax it down. Good. So fifteen seconds, switch on. Okay, so single arm row coming up first. All right, set yourself up. Then go in three, two, one. Let's go. So squeeze it back, control down. If your weight's a little bit light, slow this down, okay? Especially the lowering part here. As you bring it back down, if you slow that down, makes it a little bit more challenging. It's 15 seconds left, okay? So keep that posture. Last five. Okay. All right, so we're going into the press next with this arm. Okay, so weight up on your shoulder. If you've got a kettlebell, obviously it's make sure it's on the back of your arm. Okay, ready? Let's go. Up. Control down. So big punch up. I'm gonna get some power into that upward movement. Thirty seconds to go. Come on, you got it. Fifteen. Remember, if you need to, little dip with the knees turns it into a push press. This will be your last one. Okay, good. All right, weight down, not the way. We've got walkouts next. Okay, so with a press up if you can, if you're able to. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so small steps as you walk out. You can drop to the knees here. Okay, bring it back up. Okay, so pull in your stomach muscles as you're doing this walk out. Keep it tight and hands as close to your feet as you can. Think about really pushing the floor away as you do that press up. Get as much power into it as you can. This will be the last one, finish that one off. I'm going into squats with a push out next. Okay, so weight up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Take it down, up press. Remember this press is out in line with the chest. It's not overhead. Squeeze the stomach in. Just over halfway. And we're just pushing out to where you can. Five seconds. Okay, the last one is the alternating row. Okay, so squat sort of stance, feet hip width, 
All right, hinge forwards. Ready? Let's go. So one, change at the bottom. So really squeeze back. You want to think about really pulling that elbow back, really down the back there. So good, keep a little bit of tension through your bum, just on halfway or just over. Five seconds. Okay, good, one minute. Last round then, then you've got the 20 minute ab section then. Okay. The rest soon goes quick, doesn't it? Okay, so pick your starting weight and single arm row first. We're not quite there yet, we've got about 15 seconds. But Get yourself set up. Okay, come on. Soon get through it. Seven minutes. All right. Weight up ready. Tummy tight. Hips back. Okay. Let's go. Squeeze. Control it down. Squeeze. Bring it down. Remember, you want to breathe out as you bring the weight up. Keep that elbow really tucked into your ribs as it comes up. Don't start letting that elbow splay out to the sides, okay? Tuck it in. Keep it all tight on this last set. So come on, you can do it. 15 seconds, just under to go. One more. Okay, 15 rest. Push press, not push press, sorry. Strict press next. Okay, weight upon your shoulder. In three, two, one. Let's go. Up, press. Come on. Final set. So really drive it up. Add that dip in if you need to. You'd be better doing that than kind of leaning, okay? Don't compensate to shoulder exercise. Punch it, come on. Get some power behind it, breathe out at the top. Last one. Okay. All right. Getting ready. Single arm row. Other arm. Okay. In three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze back. Think about your posture. Okay. Stomach tight. Squeeze your bum as well. Helps to support your back. If we keep this all nice and controlled. Remember if your weight's a bit lighter, slow it down. Don't just speed up and do loads, okay? Do less and slow it. Ten seconds. Okay, rest, 15, what's next? Press, going in three, two, one, here we go, last lot of presses, so keep your stomach tight, come on. So 
So we're going to breathe with each one, remember, out on the way up, just under 30 seconds to get through. Oh, we're doing well so far. 20. Ten seconds. Okay, that's it. All right. Walk out next with your press up. Optional press up. Okay, in three, two, one, off we go. Small steps, take it down. Push. Come on. Gotta keep working on these push ups. Remember, you can do them on your knees if you want to. Really push the floor away, power into it. Even if it doesn't feel like, think about that. Move one more. Okay, rest there. Well done. So, squats and push outs next. Last two exercises of this set. Okay, weight in front of your chest. Ready, two, one, let's go. So, hips back, stomach tight, squeeze your bum as you push that weight away. Just at chest height. 30 seconds. Come on, getting through it. Be on the mat soon. Final 10. Come on, keep it moving. See what you can do. Last one. Okay. Little breather. Alternating rows next. Last exercise. Okay, set yourself up. Hips back, squeeze your bum. Tummy in, let's go. So squeeze it up. Change at the bottom. If you coordinate yourself better, stay single. I'll tell you in a minute. Let's change. Okay, change if you are doing single now, halfway. Otherwise, keep moving. Really squeeze it back. I want to think the middle of the back. 10 seconds here. Okay, rest. Well done, good. Okay, so you've got a minute now. Maybe 90 seconds, we'll see. Uh, we do need to wait for the first two exercises of this section. Or oh, the first three, actually. These are all stomach exercises, all of them. There are four pairs. We're gonna do each pair at a time, five times through. It's 20 seconds of the exercise, 10 second rest. Then we do the second one, 10 second rest, and then we go back to the first one. So we're gonna do each pair, tick it off for five times, and then move on. Does that make sense? It will, it will. Okay, so the first one, I'll show you these first. You're gonna lean back, lift, change, lift, 
and change, okay? So one leg comes up, pass the weight under, switch leg goes under that one. Okay, so you can have your heel on or off the floor, this one, bottom one, okay? Whichever way you do it, it passes under the leg, okay? So we do 20 seconds of that. If you can't coordinate the weight, you can do this one and tap your hands underneath your leg. Okay, so it's 20 seconds, 10 second rest, and then you're going into, not a shuffle forwards, sit up and press. Okay, roll back, sit up and press. Or, if you don't want to do the press, you can do a crunch where you lift your shoulders off the floor with the weight in front of you. Okay, so that's your first pair. We'll repeat it five times. Okay, so set yourself up ready. All right, come on, it'll go quick, it'll go quick. Okay, so weight is gonna go underneath one leg. I don't mind if it passes through kind of the inside of your leg or on the outside, whichever. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Pass it under, tummy tight, just don't drop it. Okay, you can tap the heel down as you go. Already halfway. Okay, rest. 10 seconds and then we're going to sit ups or crunches with the press. Okay, two, one, let's go. Up, press above your head. Okay, control it down. If it's too much with the weight, Put the weight down. Last couple of seconds. Okay, rest. 10 seconds, we go back to number one. Okay, two, one, here we go. Under. Okay, so keep it steady. Don't just rush. And rest. 10 seconds. And then we go sit ups. In three, two, one. Sit and press. Control it down. Sit and press. Control. So really squeeze the abs in as you sit up. Couple of seconds. Rest. Well done. Okay, we go again in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Weight goes under the leg. Round three. Under, under. Okay, so keep moving, 10 seconds. Breathe through it. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds. Set yourselves up. Three, two, one, let's go, press. Control it down. Sit up, press. Control down. Nearly through it. Okay, rest. Little breather. Three, two, one, let's go. Round four, under, under. Heel on the floor or heel off the floor. The choice is yours. Okay, but keep the stomach tight. Three, two, one. Rest. Lie down. Get ready for the sit ups. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up. Come on, sit up and press. Or crunches. 
So maybe squeeze your stomach muscles in as you do that press. Last one, rest. Final round. Okay, going in three, sit yourself up, two, one, here we go, pass it under, switch, switch. So keep it going. Three, two, one, rest. Last set of sit-ups. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Sit up, press, control it. So you squeeze your stomach in as you go. Got 10 seconds. Last one. Okay, rest now, you've got one minute. We're gonna change exercise. Exercises. I'm gonna show you these first while you're having your little rest. The first one is a plank, we're gonna pull the weight across. We're all familiar with this one. If you're not comfortable using the weight with this, you're gonna do shoulder taps instead, okay? Tap, tap with the waist, it passes underneath, in line with the chest, okay? That's the first one. The second one is a jackknife, which is arms and legs behind you, ideally with your hands on the floor. Sit up and reach, sit up and reach, okay? Or you can go from here, sit, and crunch, arms to the knees, but a little bit more height than a standard crunch. Okay, so you're either arms and legs, up, or hands to knees, okay? Okay, so press the position then. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm gonna try not to count three, two, one too much. I'm driving myself crackers. Okay, so weight underneath your chest, pull it across. Okay, so keep the hips still, there's 10 seconds left. Okay, rest. All right, so you're going to turn over into your jackknife either extended arms and legs or bend the knees. Okay, let's go. So version one is here. Okay, so your feet stay on the floor and your knees are bent and tap the knees. I'll do this one, it's only 20 seconds. Okay, so really squeeze the tummy muscles in to lift you up. Last one. Okay, rest, 10 seconds, turn over. So weight back ready, in line with your chest. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. So have your feet a little bit wider, remember, than your hips for this. So pull it across. Oops. So try and keep the hips down, we don't wanna start hiking them up. Oh, last one, stop. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, turn over, ready for your jackknife. Okay, in three, two, one, here we go. Up, okay, so crunch up tall, reach your ankles, or you can reach your knees. Wherever you can get, it's good. Okay, do what you can, five seconds. Last one, ignore that beep. Okay, turn over, 10 second rest, good. Okay, we're going to round three now. 
Have your weight ready. Okay. Set yourself up. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. Pull it across. Switch hand. Come on, 10 seconds. So try and keep moving. Three, two, one, and rest. Turn over. It's a quick rest, I know. Okay. I'm just gonna say go. Okay, go. Up. So arms and legs, or keep the knees bent and have like a high up, higher up crunch. You might call it. Not quite a sit up, not quite a crunch. Couple of seconds. Okay, relax. Is that round three? I think so. Okay, turn it back over. Two more rounds. So press up position, get yourself sorted. Let's go. So weight under the chest, pull the other arm underneath, pull it across. Oops. Oh, rest. Hand it away there on that one. Okay, jackknives, turn over, set yourself up, ready, let's go, up, reach, so reach where you can, arms to legs, or hands to knees, or a little bit of both, five seconds, Rest. Last round. Last round. Okay, turn over. Here we go. Let's go. So pull across. Weight in line with that chest. Tummy tight. Less than 10 seconds. So keep moving through. Rest. Last lot of jackknives. I'm gonna let you do this one on your own. Okay, in three, two, one. Let's go, last set. Come on, 20 seconds. Come on guys, sit. Sit and reach. Okay, relax there. Okay, so you know your Russian twist. After then, you're gonna turn over into a press up position and we go knee to elbow, coming across. So it's right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Okay, so Russian twists and cross mountain climbers, okay? We ready? We're going to do three rounds of 30 seconds. We ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Russian twist. So take it round. Other side. Feet on or off the floor. Okay, so keep it tight through your stomach, okay? You want to be able to feel it working here and not your back. If it starts straining the back, your heels go to the floor or you sit up a little bit higher. Okay, last couple of seconds. Okay, turn over, we're going straight into this one. So this is your cross mountain climbers. Okay, push up position, knee up and across. 
Okay, so squeeze your stomach in. So it's left knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow. You're coming across and underneath. So breathe out as that knee comes up. Okay, rest. Well done. Turn over. Here we go. Russian twists. Okay, set yourself up in three, two, one. Let's go. Twist it so we get as far around as you can with that weight. Heels down or lift them up. So as far, far around as you can get with that weight. Really working through your stomach muscles. Okay, rest. Turn over, here we go. Last one. Okay, so press up position. In three, two, one, let's go. Knee up, center, and change. Don't worry if that knee doesn't come all the way. Just twist with your hips as much as you can, okay? Nearly through it now. Okay, relax. Waiting, friends. Ready? Lean back, tummy in. Let's go. Final set. Reach round. Bring it across. So try and breathe out with each rotation. So each time. You twist, you breathe out. Let's take it all the way. Couple of seconds. All right, relax. Turn over. Okay, in three. Let's go. Knee to elbow. Come on, so big of a twist with your hips as you can. Keep breathing through. 10 seconds. Rest. Exercises left, we've got time. Okay, so we're gonna go extend, bring it down, extend. Okay, so opposite arm and leg, and then you're gonna come into your plank on the forearms, and we're gonna twist the hips to one side, up and over, other side, okay? So you're going to pivot round on your feet for that one. Okay, so set yourself up, hands and knees to start off with. Let's go. So stretch it out, stomach tight, bring it down. So you're just going to hold it up just for a second or two. Really stretch it out, bring it down, switch side. Okay, stretch it. So, a couple of seconds here. Okay, onto the forearms. Okay, into your plank position. You can choose to hold it here if this is enough for you. Okay, otherwise, twist the hips. Let's go. So keep the tummy tight as you go. Lift the hips through the center, so you do lift them up a little bit there. Think of like a semicircle with your hips. Last one. 
Okay. Round two. Okay, hands and knees. Three, two, one. Come on. Last one now. Okay, hold it. Bring it down. So just a couple of seconds on each side. Really stretch it out. Squeeze your stomach muscles in as you reach. That's it. So breathe out as you reach. Doing well. Just under 10 seconds here. Okay, plank position, last exercise. Ready? Two, one, let's go. So either hold it here or twist. Tummy tight. So keep moving through it, 10 seconds. Okay, coming down, so we're gonna lie onto your stomach. There's only two sets of that one. Okay, hands on the floor, forearms on the floor, I should say. Okay, you're gonna just lift up the chest, squeeze your bum here. So this is a cobra, for those of you that know the name. Look down at the floor, just holding it up. Okay, bring it down. And just lift it up one more time. So you're lifting your chest away from the floor, keeping the elbows and your wrist down. Okay, you're just gonna push back. So you're sitting back onto your heels, stretch the arms out in front of you, hold it. Okay, hips come down, lift up the chest, squeeze your bum here as well, up dog. Up, up, up. up. Curl the toes, you know what's going to come next. Well, you might not. <laughs> down dog, push your heels down, chest back, or chest towards your legs. Just do what you can here, try and push the hips back. Nice big stretch through the back and the back of the legs. We're going to come down onto your knees, squeeze back, so pull back the shoulders, arms back behind you, push your chest out. Okay, arms in front, chin down. Arm comes across, give that shoulder a stretch there. And change side. Okay, last one, reach it up. We're gonna do a little side lean on each side here. You can stand up if you want to, otherwise we go across. Up into the center, change side. And relax. Well done, everyone.